Hello there, I am Giant Grudgle, and I have a new way of commentary with this walkthrough. It's whenever I say a um, word into the mic, it, it, um, I hear it out of my headset, through my um, headphones. I'll show you this live commentary method if you're interested, but I won't show it to you if you guys aren't interested. So if you want to know how to um, do this live commentary method that I am used to, then just leave a comment below. Anyway, um, in the last part of our, <laughs> I gotta get used to this stupid repeating, you know. But yeah, basically I'm hearing the game through uh, through uh, headphones, and then the TV is muted right now or on volume zero because it, yeah, you just wanna it'll be hit, it'll be um loud into the mic, and we don't want that because it's like an echo then. So anyway, in the last part, we got our. I think Celadon City Gym Badge, the Rainbow Badge, I believe that's what we did. So here's my team, it's nothing really has changed, so I hear my own words after going to the headset or headphones, two seconds after I say a word, it's weird. Okay, there's that, Lightning, Wacky Mole, Dragoon, Hypno, or Heroic, and Flame. Of course, flame's awesome, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I as you can see right here, I have a full evolved team, and flame didn't evolve. Just flame, well, flame just didn't. Um, every time I hear my words repeated, it really throws me off on my thinking. That's one of the bad things. But flame didn't. Flame evolved just a little bit ago, so yeah. So many, most of these trainers, I accidentally off. Tra trained off screen with them, but yeah, they're the boring battles. They're um, fishermen, of course, so you can expect a magic carp here and there. And yeah, this guy also we've already been, uh, I already battled just to get off screen training and up, up just to up my levels. But right here, this um, is a double battle. Um, it has a Nidoran female and a Nidoran male. So I'm gonna switch this with heroic. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad to do awesome live commentary. I've been wondering how to do this method for a very long time, so you can see I'm excited. Anyway, let's battle Jess and, um, if you, if we win, I'll marry you. Okay, I'm, okay, um, creepy girl, I'm like 10 in this game, so could you creep off with your creepy, creepy thoughts? I mean, come on. Oh, battle is just fine. Yep. Yup. Okay, so let's do this confusion. These aren't even with the psychic. That's just how terrible they are. Yeah. Helping hand, it's a very useful move. Even in double battles, it's useful. I mean, come on. It's um, useless. Sorry, uh, useless. Okay. Yeah, for super effective, that was very, very weak. Let's kill you with a brick break and let's kill you with a shock wave. Because you're so weak, I'm so, like... Oh, what's the word? Confident. Yeah, I'm confident that I'll faint you. Yeah, there we go. There's the end of the battle. Okay. Do 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 Okay, I'll stop that. Uh, um, I guess we're gonna have heroic cannabis Snorlax. It's the spot fishing area. Okay, so yeah, we'll use the Pokemon food. The Pokey food. I've been recording for almost five minutes. Yeah. Well, I'm halfway to five minutes, so like, it's been like one minute and forty seconds by now. Maybe even less. Snorlax woke up. It grouped. It attacked in a grumpy rage! Okay, let's take you on. Do do. Level 30 Snorlax, male, normal type, the sleeping Pokemon, etc, etc. So we're gonna use a break break on you. Just so it's super effective. And I'm eight levels ahead of you, so ma'am. And now we're gonna also try to catch this. Okay, fine. You wanna play like that, Snorlax? We'll play like that. 
You know, I'm I can be no you now it's no your swoop's gone. No. Ah uh, man. I'm gonna use confusion. Ha, uh, it failed because you're not asleep. Ho -ho -ho. No, not hypnosis. Okay, uh, it'd be cool if hypnosis actually hit, but I wanted to use confusion. What the heck, bro? There we go. Just one more confusion. Stand, stand, stand strong, hypno. You can withstand one more hit. Sacrifice. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. Now if I can only get a sweep as an extra bonus, let's try hypnosis. No, don't go, don't use rest. Dang it, you, you use rest. I should just throw a pokeball right there. But no, I'm too stupid not to. I can almost sense what we gotta say next. Ah, uh, that, that, that did not look like good commentary right there. It, looks, it, it skipped a little bit and it's weird. Snorlax, just snore. Yeah, that's what Snorlax is to do with this one. Okay, there we go. Now, don't wake up, you dingus. You dingus. Dingus. Okay. Ouch. Choose. <laughs> let's use a Master Ball. No, let's use a Great Ball. Let's use a Great Ball. Okay. One. Two. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I hate this. I'm gonna use another great great ball, bro. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. One. Dang it. It all put. Uh, okay, now I need a now I need a wall. Just like a big defensive Pokemon. So out of this, I'll choose Whackamole. Whackamole's pretty defensive. Let's go. And now, let's just this great ball. Okay, this is the third great ball. Let's do this. Three times a charm. One, two, three. Yeah, third time is the charm. Awesome. So we caught a Snorlax, and that took a long time, apparently. In my book. Okay. Very well. Okay, I didn't give you its description, but oh well. Um, let's name him. I'm gonna probably misspell this, but, um, let me try. Tot. Taro. Okay, if I can find my R. A. 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 Okay. Well. Um. My Neighbor Totoro, that is an anime movie, it's very legendary, and I like, really like the movie, but I can't remember how to spell Totoro. Totoro is basically the big beast that is nocturnal, where it sleeps in the morning and and is awake at night. So, if you know that movie, just, you know, leave a comment down below so I can know. But, yeah, that's, that's my spelling of Totoro. Hopefully it was at least accurate. I pretty much I spelled it wrong. Okay, now, throughout this, this is just new trainers now. Okay, so this guy will give you the super rod. Let's do this. Yeah! Let's do this! Super rod! Okay, okay, okay. Magikarp! Yeah, Magikarp. A gigantic Magikarp. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's see here. Um... I guess we can start with the Venus. Put fainted Pokemon at the bottom, actually. Yeah. So let's use. Uh, if I can go to my bag, please. Do, do, do one more bird. Ah, uh, what the heck? No, no, no. What I actually, I pressed it down. You gotta be kidding me. This controls are hating me. So here's the super rod register. No, dang it, no. No. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Not even interval. Which should I get? Dot 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 Yeah, Pokemon's on the hook. And it would be in Sapphire, you have to press it A as soon as it says that. But um for Pokemon with green slash Sapphire, I read. Um you don't you can just wait here as long as you want and then when you're ready just press A. 
That's basically all I have to do. I like this method a lot better because you don't have to keep on trying. Ooh, a Krabby. Ooh. They actually make good water types, you know? I personally never used one, but yeah. So they smell good, good, um, water types. Yep. But I'm gonna use it for experience, because I already have my water type anyway. It's, it's Gyarados, of course. Because Gyarados is pretty awesome. So there we go. Um, this guy is Bird Keeper, so Venus would, would switch with Lightning. Yeah. Venus is so underleveled. I mean, it's only level 32. Oh, crap. You might be a, um, Wires Man or something. It's battle though. But you have Magnemites. Wait, now what is this? Rocker. Oh, you're a rocker. I didn't even get that. If you're a rocker with a jump rope. It looks like a jump rope. Seriously, it looks like a dump, jump rope. But you still have electric Pokemon. Maybe that's like a wire makes more sense, but it's not, not clear. Secret power, dang it. Oh yeah, critical hit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Electrode. <laughs> Better not explode! Because if it does explode, I'm gonna need a hat. You could lit it again. And you're paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Oh yes! That's just double the luck. Ha <laughs> ha Gotcha! That was even a critical. Wow. So I get offense to level 37, and yes I do. Level 37. That was easy. I should get a button. And just do that, you know? Okay. So. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't have, I don't have an ancient slave for that. Let's put victory belt to front again. Because I want the victory belt to get some experience. I mean, come on. Yeah, there we go. So, you have Magikarp. Wow. That should be a Gyarados, silly. Goodness. Get your drain attack. Boom. It wasn't even worth a Giga Drain. I don't know why I used a Giga Drain. Oh well. Okay, so Magikar. Magikar. Oh man, not good commentator either. I don't know why. Fine, two Magikarps. How, how do you survive to get, trying to get all the badges like a normal trainer? Bullet Seed Attack. I mean, come on. See, one Bullet Seed took the whole magic card. Because they're, they're just that bad of stats. If it makes any sense at all. Again, we need to cut right there. Wild well, Pokemon, of course. Okay, so... We'll keep Victory Bell up to front. Or Venus up to it. Come on, bro. Yeah. I found Kawhi, but we saw wah wah wah. Okay. Goldeen. Let's bullet seed you. Hit five times. Hit five times. Hit four times. Hit four. Uh, dang it. Whatever, bro. So let's use, um, Bolt Seed again. Oh yeah. There we go. Poliwag. That's actually something to use a good drain on. Bye bye, Poliwag. Wag your tail one last time. Wah 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 ha. There we go. A horsey, another thing, another thing worth using Giga Drain on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully the next trainer is actually a bird catcher. So we're gonna go. Let's go to Whack a Mole. Whack a Mole is pretty cool. Yep, my bird Pokemon went to battle with you. I believe, I believe that's what he said. Yeah. A Pidgey. Seriously, I can annihilate that one in one hit. See, Rock. I use Rock Tomb, and it should faint it. It should. Let's see. Yeah, it fainted it. Wow. I used Rock Tube. Seriously, bro? Oh, Pidgeotto is something else, you know. It's always evolved, you know. <sighs> rock Slide Attack. Oh, you're gonna be cheap and use a Quick Attack. Yeah. It's not gonna help you, though. Cause boom! You fainted. And it was a critical hit. It even hurts more. Birdkeeper Sebastian. Okay, now that we got that, um, it's all, it's over 16 minutes in real time, so I'd like to thank you for watching, everyone. This has been John Grodal, and my next part of my, um, this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green slash Fire Ride walkthrough part. In the next part, we will continue with this route, which is, I'll check out my time map, just so I know. Do do do. Let's put the, um, bicycle back. Yeah, we just do all that. And the time map, okay. So, we're right here on Route 13, and we're trying to get to Future City, which is right here. So, we're gonna continue our adventure to Future City next part. So, I'd like to thank you for watching again. This has been Andrew and Um, goodbye everyone.